हेलो यूट्यूब दिस इज गुरिंदर सिंह गिल वेलकम टू माई चैनल टेक नर्व हैक्स दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ ब्लॉग टेक नर्वर्स डॉट ब्लॉग स्पॉट डॉट इन प्लीज विजिट फॉर फर्दर डिटेल्स सो टूडे आई हैव समथिंग रियली स्पेशल वी हैव ऑल दीज एटीन सिक्स फिफ्टी लिथियम आइन बैटरीज फ्रॉम लाइंग अराउंड फ्रॉम लैपटॉप एंड ऑल द प्रॉब्लम विद दीज बैटरीज आर देर थ्री पॉइंट सेवन टू फोर वर्ल्ड्स वेरिएबल रेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू दी चार्ज इन दैम and you cannot directly use them in a kit because once you connect them to a kit it kind of uh, generate it has quite a lot of charge capacity so it basically will destroy your kit so we usually need some kind of boost converters to boost the power from these particular batteries to something like 5 volts which with which you can run almost any kit like arduino and all so today um, i have a small module from ti which is called as ptn04050 please uh, see the description in my, in uh, the blog post so this particular module is very small in size this is the module this is very small in size and this does the job which we want so this can uh, take the input voltage range from around 2 volts till 5.5 volts so that means you can give these batteries as an input and it generates an output uh, volt ranging from 5 volts till 15 volts which you can control using a, a resistor between the adjust pin so let's dig in i won't go through the construction details of this module uh, what i will go through is how to like what exactly should you do to lay out and what components you require for this module so moving in this particular module has four pins and the four pins are uh, voltage input output ground and adjust pin and accordingly they are th this pin is called the ground pin this is the voltage input pin this is the voltage output and this is the voltage adjust pin so uh this particular module fits like this so you can see there are two small portions here and two large portions here so make sure you use this module correctly uh, because uh, it it probably doesn't have a better reverse polarity protection so if you use the battery in opposite direction probably will blow off this module so what we are going to do uh, to construct this module is so we have the ground pin and because the ground is common for all so we'll have a ground rail going so let this be my ground rail and then we need voltage output so this is my voltage output range which will uh, vol voltage output rail which is from 5 volts to 15 volts depending on uh, the resistor value then the input uh, voltage input we will get from the battery connector so uh, i am using one of these small uh, molex connectors so these are specifically designed for uh, these kind of a batteries so you can get them easily from uh, any shop or normal electronic store so we have this connector with vcc and ground and then we give the battery input and then connect the ground to the ground rail so this is the input particular thing so uh, now as a charge cap we will probably require a 100 microfarad of electrolytic capacitor something like these so these also are pretty easy to get uh, similarly on the output side we need another 100 mu f of uh, electrolytic cap according to the reference design from ti and from for the v adjust pin what we'll do is we'll connect this to a pot so i'm using something like this which also you can get easily this is a 10k pot we don't need 10k we uh, need approximately till 6.7k but it does the job so this particular pot has three pins so this is supposed to be used as a voltage voltage divider but what i'm going to do is i'm going to ignore the third pin here so uh, how this pot works is we have three pins here so you have fixed resistance from pin number 1 till 3 that is 10k and pin number 2 is your variable pin so instead of connecting pin number 1 and 3 to vcc and ground and dividing the voltage according to the resistance from pin number 2 what i'm going to do is i'm going to ignore this third pin and use just the pin 1 and 2 so that i'll have variable resistance instead of a voltage divider circuit 
so i'll have one uh, part of this voltage adjust pin going into the pot and the another part going into the ground again as uh, suggested by the uh, reference design so that is it that is pretty much the circuit which we are going to make for uh, our particular uh, application so i'm also using these small uh, uh, pins for charging so what i want to do actually is i want to make a module which i can plug and play and use anywhere so you can probably use it for charging your mobile phones with 5 volt output and this is a 12 watt um, power module so it will give you enough amperage to power on your mobile phone so uh, and i want to make sure that these modules are rechargeable so i'm going to use those cheap uh, charging modules which are available on ebay uh, or any other website so uh, which i had covered in my earlier videos of how to make a, a kind of battery backup solution ups solution for your kits so this is the module which I'm going to use for charge uh, charging these 1850 modules. So I'm also going to attach a small charge connector that is this small angle connector so that I can plug it directly to one of these modules and charge uh, my battery. And meanwhile, I have this uh, particular uh, um, a PTN 04050C module to boost the particular voltage and give me 5 volts of constant current. So this is pretty much it. So the parts you will be requiring for this particular case, you will be requiring two of these 100 μF caps. Uh, you can buy them anywhere. You will require one of this Molex collector and two pin uh, angled header. Then you will require a variable port now of uh, 5k will also do i have 10k laying around so and then you need the module itself and some zero pcb to work on so as you can see that because this uh, particular um, module has some uneven pin configuration so i had to uh, cut out some pieces of this partic uh, particular uh, zero pcb to make the module fit so i can fit the module like this so you can see and then i'll connect my particular uh, components uh, nearby so that I make it as a complete module so I guess that this particular project will help you with your battery backup solution so you can use this again as a UPS solution or suppose if you want to deploy your particular kit uh, somewhere you want to develop an IoT solution so this is a very good way of giving a power supply a very cheap way of giving a power supply because these particular lithium and batteries are really really powerful so like uh, 2600 milliamp hour for one single cell and you can get them around uh, 200 300 bucks uh, in indian currency anywhere on ebay or somewhere so i guess this particular video helped for further information on uh, how to make this modules and the construction details and all please visit my blog that is technervous.blogspot.n uh, any other comments and suggestions will be greatly appreciated thanks again for watching the video